everyone. This is Eric from Traders Helping Traders with this week's Tricks of the Trade. As promised, this week I am going to show you an incredibly powerful entry technique. This is something that you can use in all markets and in all time frames. And it's incredibly simple. What you do is it's especially effective in a market that is trending well, but it will also work in markets that are still sorting themselves out. And essentially what you do is you just wait for the market to show you a support area in the case of a downtrending market or a resistance area in the case of an uptrending market, and then you set up your trade. And the beauty of this particular strategy is that you don't even need to choose the direction. The market fills you when it goes in the direction uh, that it decides to go. So your only uh, job really is to determine when you're going to place your trade and of course a little bit about the where you're going to place your trade. But we're going to address that in just a second. So here we have December lean hogs and you can see that lean hogs are obviously in a downtrend. The market has been trending lower and uh, as it goes along here all of a sudden we have a little bit of support. Now technically this isn't true support because for support we like to see our red green bar combination. But I always pay attention when the market does not put in a new low. Here you can see that on this particular day the low was higher than the day before. And in fact, let me see, what was the open? Uh, the open was 66.27 and the close was 66.20. So for the sake of a couple three ticks, uh, this bar turned red instead of green. So the next day we do have true support now that we have our red green bar combination so now it what we're doing is we're going to trail our entry now I know I mentioned this particular strategy once before but we're going to show you a little bit of a twist on it today now the market is in pullback phase it has established support so we are going to trail our entry with the assumption that the market is going to reestablish the existing trend. So our entry is the low of the day before. So we're going to keep doing that. So the market trades higher. We move our entry up a little bit. And it doesn't have to be at the low. Uh, ideally, we want it a little bit below the low. We don't want to get caught in the daily market noise. Okay, now here comes the twist on this trade. Now that the market has established support with our red-green bar combination, and it has established resistance as well with our green-red bar combination, we are going to bracket this trade now so now that we have support and we have resistance we are going to bracket this trade and let the market show us whether it's going to break support or break resistance so we're going to uh, trail now our entry when and if this market trades lower and it it does trade lower so we're going to bring our entry in above the previous day's high. This entry remains the same because this was the pullback move higher so we haven't moved this and now we're getting the move lower so the market's either going to make a big move lower and bring us in on the short side or it's going to reverse and bring us in on the upside. Okay, The, the market uh, traded lower but the high is higher than the day before so we'll just kind of leave it where it is. Again, we're not going to crowd this trade too much. You do have to allow it a little bit of elbow room. Oop, and here we go. We get brought in as the market trades higher. So now we are long on this particular market. And you can see, well, it, it 
<laughs> I only have a few days to work off of. But you can see that it was very effective for bringing us into a market that has changed trend. Or at least that's how it looks right now. And you can do this on practically any chart. I just chose the lean hog chart because uh, it was a current market. But it's very effective for a market that has entered a pullback phase. Let me quickly show you a market that I'm kind of excited about doing this on. Does this look familiar to anybody? Look at the rocket ride that cotton has been on just an insane rally well all the way from back here from uh, toward the end of summer or end of July anyway the market has taken off and not looked back somewhere around here was the big flood in Pakistan and prices have just shot up every day since then with very little chance of getting into this market oh but look at this we have entered a pullback phase so here we're going to do the opposite, where we are trailing our entry because we're anticipating the market to go long. So we're going to tra uh, trail our entry to the upside. Oops, sorry, wrong bar. There we go. Trade, uh, trail our entry to the upside, but you know what? We don't know whether this market has uh, finished the uptrend or not. So once support comes in, then we can throw our sell uh, order. Let's assume that support's going to come in here on Monday. Oops, sorry. Okay, and let's, and let's say support comes in on Monday. Now we can trail our sell order. So we have our buy order. Our buy order is going to be here above uh, Thursday's high. Thursday's high was 142.80. I would not crowd that. I would certainly go uh, on the other side of 143, maybe even uh, a full point, maybe 143.80. But let's say the market shows us support, then we will trail our sell order higher because if in fact the market is not ready to resume the uptrend and it reverses and heads lower, then we'll be able to capture it to the downside. So a very, very powerful trading strategy. You do not need to choose the market direction. You only have to pay attention when is the proper time to apply this technique and to have the nerve to see it through. And that is this week's Tricks of the Trade.